Hello strangers out there. Uh, another video today today, and I've got a bit of a rant here. Uh, yeah, another one. Uh, so warning. Uh, not political in nature though. This one involves, um, well, a certain thing that um, the Coke company, Coca-Cola company in particular, is doing. And um, just to give you some background here, uh, out here on the Gold Coast of Southern California, uh, we have this little restaurant chain uh, called Presto Pasta. Um, I'm not too sure how far out they've expanded, but they, they started in Santa Barbara, come down uh, the coast, and they kind of branched out along the coast there. And um, it's a nice little place. Um, it's, it's kind of a, uh, I think, Olive Garden meets McDonald's kind of thing. It's, it's kind of pasta fast food thing. Um, a little slower than say you know mcdonald's or whatever um but faster than and despite what people may think of you know either of those two companies it's pretty good it's not too bad it's pretty decent um now about oh i want to say maybe two years ago or so they uh they put this they, they serve coke there in the as fountain drinks and uh um about uh, two years ago they uh they they set up uh, this new machine, this new Coke machine uh, that Coke's put out. Um, and now, the great thing about this machine is that you can have all sorts of different flavors of Coke. So you have Coke and Diet Coke, um, you know, Coke Zero, Sprite, all the various Coke products. But now you can add almost like a dozen different flavors to this thing. So you get cherry coke or vanilla coke or lemon coke or, you know, a whole bunch of different things um, to it. And these little flavors that you can add to it. Um, and so for the people out there that, that like to have all the various flavors of coke or, you know, go a little wild and, you know, have them all, you know, adds a whole new meaning to the, the kamikaze uh, kind of fountain drinks you used to be able to get where you get you know, you used to go through the, put your cup under each one, Coke and Diet Coke and root beer and Sprite and all that kind of stuff. Well, now you can just do it by pressing, you know, having one big console here and you just pressing buttons. Um, and get all sorts of different flavors in there so you can try all sorts of combinations and things. Um, and it all comes out through one spigot. And lately, not only has Presto Pasta had this, but um, now I think Jack in the Box has also incorporated it into their uh, into their fountain drink thing. So uh, and there may be a few others out there, and I'm sure I'm sure any of you watching can go and find some place that has these, you know, multiple, you know, machines. I hate them. I hate them a lot. And here's the reason why. Uh, I just want Coke. When I order a Coke, I just want to taste Coca-Cola. Or if I order a Sprite, I just want it, you know. And the problem with everything coming out of that one spigot is you not only get whatever it is that you order, but you get at least the person or maybe the two or three people the flavors that they ordered before you. And so instead of a Coke, you know, when I go to taste a Coke, I'm getting the vanilla, the cherry, the, the, the lemon, the diet Coke that came before me, along with my Coke. I'm not a coffee drinker, so I didn't understand the... I mean, I kind of sympathized maybe, but I didn't really fully understand when the Starbucks and all the various other coffee shops things kind of hit about 10, 15, 20 years ago. There was a lot of people that just liked their coffee black. And I didn't really, I kind of sympathized with those people who couldn't find black coffee um, at Star they didn't serve it at Starbucks they didn't they don't serve it was all the flavored you know mocha macchiato you know 
all the various flavors, hazelnut and all those things. I don't drink coffee, so I, I, I had no clue about any of that stuff. But it's like you can't go into a Starbucks and just get a black coffee. Uh, apparently, well, now I have an understanding of what those people those people went through because I can't go to Presta Pasta or Jack in the Box or any of the other places that might carry these damn Coke machines and order just a straight Coke and get straight Coke because it all comes right through the same spigot. I get whatever everybody else in front of me ordered. So, yeah, that's my little rant. I really hate them. Um... And I would really like it if Coca-Cola could, I don't know, find some way to change that. Find some way to filter it out so that it's not coming all through the one spigot or something. Some way. So that if I order a Coke, I'm just getting Coke. And not the vanilla, cherry, lemon, diet Coke that, you know, along with my Coke. Or Sprite or whatever it is that I'm ordering, you know. If I'm ordering, you know, I'm I'm a I'm a purist, so I want the pure stuff. I don't want all these extra flavors, and especially, you know, if I'm gonna get something flavored, I want my flavor, not everybody else's flavor, on top of it. So I'm not a fan, and these things are starting to become prevalent, and I like um I'd like that to stop. I'm gonna start ordering bottled water from from those places from now on. Or some other bottled thing because I, I'm tired of uh, I'm tired of getting all these different flavors here. So yeah. Anyway, that's my uh, that's my little rant for the day. Um, if uh, you have a similar story, or you know other restaurants that might have these infernal machines, um, you know go ahead and leave them in there. And of course, you know if you like this. If you like my little rant here, go ahead hit that like button to show your support for how much you hate these machines. And, uh, of course, subscribe for the uh, next video coming up whenever. Um, I'm trying to get back on schedule, but you never know. It, the holidays are coming up. So, uh, anyway, uh, see you next time. Thank you for viewing, and uh, stay strange. Bye-bye.